Hello everybody and welcome back to Woodland Pools. Today we're going to take a look at the Cardano Roadmap. So if you're new to Cardano and you're curious about the long-term plans for the project or you're curious where it's going, this video is for you. We're going to start by looking at a high-level overview of the five eras. We'll see where we're at today and we'll take a look to see what's coming up in the future. As always, if you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And if you appreciate the work we do here and you want to support the channel, consider delegating to our Aspen stake pool, which we'll link below. So let's go ahead and jump in. We're looking here at the Cardano roadmap, and we're just at roadmap.cardano.org. We'll link this below as well. But So basically, the roadmap has five main eras. Byron, Shelley, Gogan, Basho, and Voltaire. So let's start with first things first and let's jump into Byron. So Byron's all about foundations, right? This is getting everything working and getting it off the ground. So <clears throat> Cardano is a third generation blockchain. And if you don't know what we mean by third generation, we highly recommend that you watch the now famous Charles Hoskinson whiteboarding video and we'll link that below. So the goal of Cardano is to address the three strategic challenges facing all blockchain networks, scalability, interoperability, and sustainability. The first incarnation that we saw here with Byron allowed users to buy and sell the ADA, crypt ADA cryptocurrency across different uh, blockchain exchanges. So if you've been slowly accumulating your ADA over the years, buying it on different exchanges, um, then you've been living in the Byron era. It also introduced the groundbreaking Ouroboros consensus protocol, which was the first proof of stake protocol created on the basis of academic research with mathematically proven level of security. So these white papers that were published were peer-reviewed by academic institutions all over the world. Byron is also what introduced the delivery of the Daedalus wallet. So Daedalus is a wallet built on top of a fully functioning Cardano node that is synced up to the rest of the Cardano network. Um, additionally, if you don't want to have a full Cardano node running on your desktop for your wallet, there's a lighter version called Yoroi, which is a light wallet and it also has uh, a mobile application that you can download onto your smartphone. So we were living in Byron for a long time, and then next came Shelly, which is actually the era that we're in now. So Shelly is all about decentralization. The Shelly era of Cardano was a period of growth and development for the network, and the early steps in Cardano's journey to optimize decentralization. So what we saw with Shelly was the introduction of delegation and incentives and driving stake pool community adoption, and as we were long anticipating what came out, I think last June in 2020, proof of stake on the mainnet. This allowed and encouraged users to get delegate this allowed and encouraged users to delegate their stake to stake pools and I think this is a good time for me to jump in and say uh, if you appreciate what we do here consider delegating to our Aspen stake pool down below. So one thing I want to point out is that uh, most blockchain networks right now that have proof of stake are controlled by less than 10 mining pools but the goal of the Cardano roadmap and of Shelly is to try and reach an equilibrium of about a thousand stake pools. If you look on Daedalus right now at the Blockchain Explorer, you'll see well over a thousand right now. Um, so this sets the stage for a fully distributed network. Let's take a look next at Gogan. So Gogan, which is, uh, it's actually being done in development in parallel right now. We haven't moved to Gogan yet, but we're starting to see releases uh, coming out towards getting Gogan fully uh, released and transitioned. It's all about smart contracts. So the integration of smart contracts Shelly was focused on decentralization. Gogan adds the ability to build decentralized applications or dApps on Cardano's solid foundation. So when it's done, it's going to allow users from technical and non-technical backgrounds to create and execute financial smart contracts on the Cardano network. So if you're a developer, you can use Plutus, which is a purpose-built smart contract and development language. And actually, if you're interested, Plutus is already available for testing, so that's pretty cool. Now, if you're not a developer, wider audiences can use Marlowe, which allows financial and business experts with no previous technical knowledge to create smart contracts. So uh, Marlowe is a purpose-built language, a domain-specific language, and it's built on top of Plutus, but you don't have to be a developer to use it. So additional goals here for our Gogan release are to enable users to create natively support tokens. So this is pretty cool. It'll allow the creation of fungible and non-fungible tokens and support the creation of new cryptocurrencies on Cardano. So, so ADO will still be the primary cryptocurrency on Cardano, but uh, we'll now see users be able to build their own tokens on top of the Cardano network. Next is Basho. So Basho is all about scaling. So whereas we've seen a bunch of really exciting developments in Byron, Shelley, and Gogan, Basho is all about taking that to scale. 
So it's an era of optimization, improving the scalability and interoperability. And it's going to be improving the underlying performance of the already existing Cardano network. So one of the core developments of Basho is going to be introducing side chains. So new blockchains and uh, sorry, new blockchains that are interoperable with the main Cardano chain. It'll also see the introduction of parallel accounting styles. So right now, um, all transactions are done in UTXO. Uh, there'll be separate accounting styles that can also be supported on the network. And overall, Basho is going to see Cardano becoming one of the highest performing, most resilient and flexible blockchain platforms on the industry. Really, really cool stuff uh, once we get to Basho and see these things fully scale. And then our final era is Voltaire. So Voltaire is where we really, truly get to a fully distributed uh, and decentralized blockchain where we look at governance. So with the introduction of a voting and treasury system, Voltaire is going to let us be able to use the stake and voting rights and influence the future development of the network. Voltaire is going to see the addition of a treasury system, and it's going to fraction. Uh, it's going to take a fraction of all transaction fees, and those will be used to provide funds for development initiatives. So, kind of bringing it all together, with a voting and treasury system in place, Cardano will be a fully decentralized and no longer IO, no longer under IOHK's management. So, this is super important, right? If we look at going from the foundations of being able to buy and sell ADA, Shelly decentralizing and be able to stake and get a, a, a proof of stake and get uh, incentives back for delegating to stake pools, Gogan uh, adding the ability for smart contracts and being able to actually build additional tokens on top of the Cardano network, Basho with scaling, and then finally we get to Voltaire where we'll have a truly independent and self-governing protocol. Really, really cool stuff. So those are the five main eras of the Cardano roadmap. I hope that helped clear it up a little bit. If you guys still have any questions or something was kind of unclear or something you'd like to go into a little bit more detail, please feel free to leave uh, comments below on how we can do this better for you. Again, if you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, turn on notifications. And one final time, if you appreciate the work that we do and you want to support the channel and some of our additional videos coming up soon, consider delegating to our Aspen stake pool, which we've linked below. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.